sleep and now I woke up and I just came across this. It says Lee Leonard has died. He was born April 13th, 1929. He died December 16th, 2018. He was an American television personality. He was involved in the launch in the launch of cable television networks of ESPN and CNN. It says he was 89 years old. He was born in New York City, New York, and he died in South Orange, New Jersey. Um, he was married three times. The, the last one being the longest one. His, he was married to Kelly Bishop from 1981 until his death, and he had one kid. Leonard after was a mid, mid, midday radio personality on New York's WNBC um, AM 660 shortly after it launched its conversation station, a talk format, in 1964. He was part of a weekday talk variety lineup that included Big Wilson, Robert Alda, Mimi Benzel, Sterling Yates, Bill Mazur, Brad Crandall and Long John Nebel and hosted a competition quiz show for listeners called Fortune Phone. In the early 1970s, Leonard was part of an even earlier network TV innovation partnering on C- CBS TV with Jack Whitaker on the NFL on CBS, a, a um, studio-based show wrapping around the network's coverage of the National Football League with pregame futures and halftime and postgame highlights from around the league. As producers changed, Leonard and Whitaker were eventually succeeded by the NFL today with Brent Musburger, Phyllis George, Jimmy the Greek Snyder, and Irv Cross on one of um of net of network TV's sports longest running studio based programs. The core of the team would stay until the nineteen eighty until the mid nineteen eighties while the show itself has aired continuously ever since, except for several years in the nineteen nineties where CBS did not have NFL television rights. As for Leonard, he would move to NBC and be teamed with Bryant Gumbel fucking asshole, and it's grandstand show where he would stay until just before ESPN launched. Also, during the mid-1970s, Leonard hosted Midday Live, the daily talk show on on WNEW-TV, now now known as WNYW, in New York City. He had, he was replaced by Bill Boggs, I'm not sure who that is. While at w, WNEW, Leonard was one of the original co-hosts with Bill Mazur, of Sports Extra considered a pioneering show for the Sunday evening sports wrap-up show format. On September 7th of 1979, he, um, which, is when, which is right around the time that ESPN launched, he was the first person to speak on ESPN. He gave a brief introduction before the network aired its first programming, which was the first episode of SportsCenter. Afterward, he would, afterwards, he would make occasional appearances on ESPN. A year later, 1980, Leonard moved to CNN, where he hosted People Tonight, the network's first Los Angeles-based live entertainment news talk show. Many of today's major name celebrities made their first national talk show appearance on People Tonight, which were Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks, and Pee Wee Herman. Fucking pervert. The show was groundbreaking in its coverage of Hollywood, of Hollywood red carpet premieres and many breaking stories, which included the death of John Lennon and Natalie Wood. Robin Leach cut his teeth as a New York-based correspondent before signing on to do Entertainment Tonight, and later launching the pop culture hit series Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Leonard stayed until, at CNN until 1982, when CNN hired veteran talk show host Mike Douglas. From 1990, re- recent activities, this is from, 19, from 1996 to, to about 2004, Leonard hosted a couple different TV shows. One was called Jersey Talking on, on News 12, New Jersey. As of 2004, Leonard was hosting a public affair program on the New York on the New Jersey-based cable network at CN8. Leonard was married to an actress named Kelly Bishop, who played Emily Gilmore and the Gilmore Girls, as well as Marjorie Houseman and Dirty Dancing. He had been married twice before, including one to Salem to Salem Jens, the actress. He has one daughter named Norma Leonard. And he has a grandson through her named Jacob Leonard. And it says it does not give a cause of death, but I'm guessing at 89 years old, he was just old age.